Hello lovely students of class 5. You are welcome to unit 16. Uh, dear students, uh, as you know, I have already uploaded the explanation to the text by Vinuru. test ko explanation, test for Nepali ma, isko explanation go isi go And today I will help you to do the exercise. Now you see. So complete the cursor puzzle below with the correct words from this story. So feeling happy about something, pleased. This is pleased, P L E S E D. No, it means pleased. Now six, having a strong desire to know about something. So this six one, curious, C U R I O U S, curious. Just you have to fill in the box with the letters curious. Now seven, good at learning, understanding, and thinking. This is intelligent. Now seven, intelligent. See here. Uh, just you have to write intelligent here. And now down, sad or upset. Number one, okay, sad. This is disappointed. D I S A P P Y N T E D. So disappointed means sad or upset. Now two, a person in your family who lived a long time ago, forefather. So F O R E F A T H E R, forefather. Now four, a painting, drawing, or photograph of a person, portrait. So portrait means it for you know, here, portrait, Q U R. P O R T R A I T port it. So use the word here, port it. Now five, a person who is part of the court of king or queen. So courtier. So you are here. It's called a courtier. So this is the okay. This is all about cursor puzzle. Now rewrite the following sentences in the correct order. So we should uh, order these order these sentences according to the story students are putting this like order so number one my own so the first one the king saw the paintings of his forefather in the hallway this is the first second man the king called painters from his kingdom to draw his painting two now three most of the painters didn't want to make the portrait of the king three fourth a painter was ready to make the painting of the king then fifth you can write here the painter presented a portrait to the king now six, uh, six. Everyone in the court was amazed to see the painting. And last one is the king was happy with the painter and rewarded him. So this is all about rearranging. Okay, dear students, now I will help you do this question answer. Who was intelligent and kind? The king was intelligent and kind. It's very easy. Now we. Why did the king want his portrait made? Why? It means uh, the king wanted uh, uh, wanted his portrait made. The king, okay, and the king wanted his portrait made, thinking that his children would remember him as their forefather. This is the answer, dear students. Okay, this, you can find this is the answer. Uh, just you can write this answer. Uh, this is you know, B O. Uh, this B way. Why did the king want his portrait made? The king here. Yeah, you can write the king or he. You can write. Okay, the king. Okay, write here the king. The king wanted his portrait made, thinking that his children would remember him as their forefather. Now see, why did most of the painters deny to draw the portrait of the king? deny Most of the painters denied. Hmm, denied drawing. The portrait of the king if they were not confident to draw a beautiful portrait and please the king they were not confident in it you know so most of the painters denied they didn't okay they they couldn't do okay one on second deny but then they got not silent because they were okay not confident to draw a beautiful portrait how uh, number d how did everyone feel about the painting let's see here so everyone felt amazed about the painting. Everyone felt very okay, good. They felt amazed about the painting. Now, e, how was the king shown in the painting? The king was shown riding a horse, showing his only one leg and holding his bow and aiming the arrow with his own eye closed. This is very nice. So the painting message that he was your king like. King was shown riding a horse, sorry, was showing his only one leg and uh, leg and holding his bow and aiming the arrow with his one eye closed so this is the, the answer to the question number e so answer to question number e this is you know so yes the king was shown riding a horse 
swing is only one leg and holding his bow and aiming okay now now why do you think paintings and portraits are important i think paintings and portraits are important to us is they are pleasant to see they are very pleasant to see moreover they look like a real person the painting of mona lisa is wildly famous a drawing painting is a work of art painting and portraits can record the important historical scenes which are not possible to capture with the camera okay so you can write uh, about the painting they are important just they are they become the history and they become okay uh, they can uh, be uh, uh, they can be a course for the present so you can write mm, painting about it. okay now trying is these sentences you get help from your teacher if you need it so you can try it you can read it i'm sure you can read tongue twisters okay so you see cheese you threw three walls Fred fed tear bread and tear fed bread bread Fred fed tear bread and tear fed fed bread for four years friends fought for the phone she sells she sells by the seashore tongue twister now grammar so the correct alternatives and complete the sentences even below so here this are there are many children in the classroom so here are there because this is plural you know you can see they are plural subject are there now be how old are you very easy now see why aren't you going to peter's party now the sandra hasn't come there yet haven't you call him now next when will they come to meet me now f which book are you ready now now g i brush my teeth twice a day how often do you do it how often do you do it now yes do you like to have tea or coffee now okay i where do you work on a farm now change the following statement into questions use question words from the brackets select the teacher who is the teacher select the teacher now they have gone to simla where have they gone Suman can swim what can Suman do the sam or else teaches us english who teaches us english she was badly injured how was she injured Durga is famous for classical dancing. What is Durga famous for? What is Durga famous for? No, I don't like him because he is an evil. Why don't you like him? No, H. I reached there at 10 a.m. When did you reach there? When did you reach there? Okay, now. So listening. So do your dear friends. Listen to this audio and try to guess the answers and try to fill in the blanks. Hi, Ishmael. How are you? Hi, Jack. I'm okay, but I've got loads of homework. Mm -hmm, me too. But would you like to come with us to the cinema tonight? Who's us? Me, Jamie, Nicola and Selina. Hmm, okay. And what's the film? There's that new horror film, Light and Dark. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't like horror films. <laughs> what about a rom-com? Rom-com? You know, romantic comedy. I hate romantic films. I like action. Well, there's a new science fiction film, Alien Attacks. OK, I like science fiction. Let's see that. OK. What time is the film? At 8 o'clock. Let's meet at 7.30 outside the cinema. OK, see you later. Bye. Dear students, I, I think, I hope you have understood the listening text and you have already done this. I hope you can do this. Who are the people? The people, uh, uh, they are the viewers of a movie. They are the people who are watching, you know, movie, I mean cinema. What are they doing? They are watching cinema. Have you ever been to the cinema? Which film? Okay, I have. Maybe you have also been to cinema. So here, listen to the audio and take the court answer. Isamel is busy doing homework ismail is busy doing homework all together there are five people are going to the movie five people light and dark is a horror movie horror and here jackson did a romantic comedy mm. now okay uh, then uh, the movie starts at 8 p.m okay okay so jackson is uh, a horror movie okay about school 
next one many children like watching cartoons some say that it is uh, not a good habit but do you think it's not really good good talk to your friend so i don't think so i think like watching i think watching cartoons can help children learn new things most of the cartoons are designed in order to teach children good manners so uh, it's not bad okay it's not really bad so we can learn you can learn something from watching cartoons as well now so read and act out the conversation okay as man we should change the tv if okay well i don't think so okay now dear students study the expression in the table below that are used to agree or disagree agree or disagree that's right that's right exactly yes i agree me too i agree with you disagreeing i don't agree that's not right i'm not sure about that i disagree no way now Okay, if you have your conversation similar to the ones in this video, A, with the expression of agreeing or disagreeing. Now, one more one. We preserve tigers, so we should preserve the tiger. Yes, I agree with you. Tigers are used for, for maintaining the balance in the ecosystem. So, you have to, uh, it's right in this way, dear students. Next is, I enjoy the more holiday. Yes, uh, okay. I think we need to enjoy holiday by visiting new places. You are right. I visited Nagarkot last week. I had lots of fun. Okay, next one. English is a difficult subject. No, interesting to learn. English is a difficult subject. No, I don't agree with you. I believe it's interesting to learn. Now, indeed. We play video games. We can play video games in free time. That's not right. No, it's a waste of time. Now, we do physical exercise regularly. Yes, healthy and all. We should do physical exercise regularly. Okay, exercises regularly, guys. Uh, yes, you are right. Uh, it makes us healthy and fit. Okay, dear students, I think you, you have, you are following me. Now, watching TV is a total waste of time for students. Do you agree or disagree? Write a sort of paragraph on it. So here, watching TV is a total waste of time. No, it's not. I disagree with the above statement. I disagree. Watching TV is useful for students if they watch information related channels. If the if the students watch uh, information related channels like okay, discovery channels, it is very important for them. Even the channels which are about entertainment help the students to explore their artistic talents. Many students have become artists by watching TV. They can learn to dance, sing, and caricature by imitating the celebrities. So, you can write a paragraph. You can write a similar paragraph. Okay, dear students. So, next day, I will come up with the solution, with the guide to the reading second. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching. Bye.